What's happening is, is it's call, causing us to be angry, frustrated, and to be quite frank, to not be great examples of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, for today's devotion, I want to share something special with you. Words matter, and the way you use your words matter. I want to share with you a verse in Proverbs that you've probably never read before, nor would you ever think would be in the Bible. Actually, in private, it's a verse that I quote very often. Whenever someone says something a little crazy, whenever someone says something that's probably too inappropriate, this is one of my favorite go-to verses, and it's this. You won't even believe it. It's found in Proverbs 18, verse 6. It says this, A fool's lips walk into a fight, and his mouth invites a beating. A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are a snare to his soul. The words of a whisper are like delicious morsels. They go down into the inner parts of the body. You know, Proverbs 18 is all about how much your words matter. And during this season, I can only imagine, as we see people on Facebook and Instagram and all of these arguments and disagreements and this and that, and what's happening is, is it's causing us to be angry, frustrated, and to be quite frank, to not be great examples of the gospel of Jesus Christ. When we use divisive words like unfriend me if you blank, or don't follow me if you blank, or I hate these type of blank people, these are all words that quite frankly, invite a beating as Proverbs 18 would say. You know, choosing our words actually matters. And when we represent Jesus, when we call ourselves Christians in the world today, it means that we're supposed to be examples of Christ and we're supposed to be the light of Christ. And so for today, I wanna to encourage you, before you say that word, before you make that post, before you respond to that direct message, before you text that person back or whatever it is, first think, are my words inviting a beating? Is my mouth right now going to be my ruin? And then cause that pause in your life to say, maybe I need to correct the way that I'm approaching this. And maybe I need to choose my words better in this season. Because at the end of the day right now, words are all we got. And we need to protect those words and we need to be examples of Jesus into our community. God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day.